We are looking at a cornfield. This is a factory farm. And we can see corn. Now this corn isn't directly in the use for humans, but it is. For, they give this to cows, chickens, pigs. Don't think they give them to dogs though. However, I've seen them spraying pesticides on the corn. Lots of pesticides. And these are foods in which are eaten by the pigs and such. And thus, when we get cows, when we eat cows, which are called beef, we are eating what they are eating. And this is what they are eating. At least some cows will be. And this farm spans for many, many acres. But the way I see it is, the pesticides stop the insects from eating. Totally, big time. So because of that, it to me is like playing God's work. Which means that the animals will be going through many transitional changes, which the world is going through anyway. But I have not seen many people having their own gardens. Not many whatsoever. They don't want to go off the grid. Instead, they go to their local grocery store and buy the beef which eats these corn. The cows eat the corn which becomes the beef. Same thing with the chickens and the pigs and heck, so many of these different animals. That's the reality that we have. It's a sick reality. And when you're looking for food that is natural, that's why you want to look for food that is organic. Or grow your organic food, your own organic food. But, many people don't want to. Because it's easier just to go to the grocery store. But when you are eating these pesticides, or when you're eating the cows, which are beef, which were cows, that were eating this, they were eating the stuff in here, and not only are the cows were factory cows that probably didn't have much of a room to run, same with the chickens. It's just a scary thought, in my opinion. Then you throw in all the other stuff we have in our food, the NutraSweet, all of the aspartame, which is the same thing. You can, the list goes on. But, I don't like seeing every year the machine come by and spraying chemicals on here. But they say that it makes the quality of the food better because insects don't eat them and yet you are eating them yourself. So does the quality get better instead of taking the food or the certain amounts that were eaten by insect, insects and then putting that into some sort of compost or giving it to animals. No, we just have to put pesticides on it so that the foods are quality. <laughs> you know what? They were more of a higher quality in the 19th century. But I'm thankful that we are waking up to the sad truth for reality because it is a sad truth because you are eating this food even though it's cow corn because the cows are eating it thus you are eating it if of course you are not eating if of course you are eating non-organic corn that is I'd like to thank you for watching this video and uh, to finish it off, I'll uh, continue going on the ride that I was to show you more of the factory farm. Because I was going on a little bike ride and just wanting to check out the cornfields while I take the dog for a run. And the dog loves to run. Especially when I take the bike, he gets all excited.
and there he goes and we'll just continue shooting more of the acres and acres of pesticide corn because I was watching Alex Jones's video and well he was showing the video or photo of the machines used to spray the corn and he said it's now going into Europe and Canada and well that same piece of equipment that was shown I've seen three years in a row and I was going to tape it earlier this year I made the mistake in not oh well what can you do but we live in a world that's filled with insanity so in order to get sanity back in my opinion whether it be based on the foods that we eat whether it be based on how we run our economic conditions and so many other different things then humanity's got to start making positive decisions looking at facts and then in a analyzing the facts. So we look at the facts of what is put in this food and think, wait a second here. Look at what this is causing the chain of animals. Look at what this is causing for the effects of how we eat our foods, what kind of health effects it has. And when this can happen, I think we can live in a much better world. Remember, stay sane. Have yourself a great day.